Hello, I'm Paul Estabrooks. Last Tuesday, June the 29th, was the annual date that church tradition remembers the execution death of the Apostle Paul in Rome. This date has now also come to be called the Day of the Christian Martyrs. Now, earlier in this series of videos, I've shared about well-known pastors in China, like Alan Yuan and Wang Ming Dao, who ministered in Beijing, and Samuel Lam in the southern city of Guangzhou. All three spent more than 20 years in prison for their faith, but they were not martyred. Today, I want to share with you about a famous pastor in China who lived in Shanghai, a pastor I never met, but who also spent 20 years in prison and died there as a Christian martyr. We know Watchman Nee best here in the West because of his many writings published in English. He founded a large church movement in China known as the Little Flock. Watchman Nee was born on November 4, 1903 and came to Christ in 1920 as a teenager, was baptized in 1921. And he started writing a classic 700-page book, The Spiritual Man, with just over seven years of living and walking with the Lord. It's a manual on the spiritual life that can be experientially proven. He wanted to give God's children a clear understanding so they could walk in and be led by God's Holy Spirit and overcome darkness and spiritual warfare. Brian Kessler gives three takeaways from this Watchman Nee classic. He writes, living by the Spirit, empowered by the Spirit, is an experience, not a theory. If our theology doesn't work practically, there's something wrong with our theology. And he added, as I read through this book and saw the depth of Watchman Nee's spiritual insight and experience, I became burdened by the shallowness of the 21st century church. So focused on the externals, we have neglected what's of utmost importance, the internal life of Christ in our spirits. When we seek to change the way we live, no longer living by the power of the self-life in the soul, but rather the indwelling life of Christ in our spirits, we must be prepared for spiritual warfare. The enemy is only threatened by those who live by the Spirit. End of quote. In addition to speaking frequently before many audiences, Watchman Nee authored at least a dozen books, as well as many articles, newsletters, and even hymns. Most of his books were based on notes taken down by students during his spoken messages. Some books were compiled from messages published previously in periodicals. Watchman Nee's best-known book is The Normal Christian Life. It was based on talks that he delivered in England during a trip to Europe in 1938 and 1939. There he expressed theological views on the New Testament book of Romans. The dominance of the Chinese Communist Party in 1949 with its doctrine of state atheism caused Christians to come under great persecution. False charges and arrests were also brought against many foreign missionaries. Through intensive propaganda campaigns and threats of imprisonment, local believers were influenced to accuse one another. On April 10, 1952, Watchman Nee was arrested in Shanghai by the public security officers and charged with, listen to this, bribery, theft of state property, tax evasion, cheating on government contracts, and stealing government economic information. Later, in early 1956, there was a nationwide sweep targeting co-workers and elders of local churches. Some died in labor camps. Others, like Alan Yuan and Wang Mingdao and Samuel Lam, faced long-term prison sentences. The Religious Affairs Bureau began 12 days of accusation meetings at the Church Assembly Hall in Shanghai. They brought many accusations against Pastor Ni nee in large accusation meetings. In June of 56, he appeared before the High Court in Shanghai where it was announced that he had been excommunicated by his own church, the elders finding him guilty of all charges. He was sentenced to 15 years of imprisonment with reform by labor. Initially, he was detained at a local prison in Shanghai but later moved to other locations and only his wife Charity was allowed to visit him. 
Public security took over his church building and many of his co-workers were arrested and put into isolation and forced to repudiate him. Some co-workers joined in the accusations while others remained silent and were punished with life imprisonment. Following this, mass accusation meetings were held across the country to condemn what the communist government called the anti-revolutionary sect of Watchman Nee. One year before his death in 1972, his wife Charity died from an accident and high blood pressure. He was not allowed to attend her funeral. Charity's eldest sister then took the responsibility to care for Watchman Nee in prison. He was scheduled for release in 1967, but was detained in prison until his death on May 30th, 1972. There was no announcement of his death and no funeral. His remains were cremated on June 1st, 72, even before the family arrived at the prison. Watchman Nee was faithful unto death. With a crown stained with blood, he went to be with the Lord. Although his last wish to come out alive and join his wife was not fulfilled, the Lord prepared something even better. They were reunited together with their Lord. And his legacy as a faithful servant of Jesus Christ unto death is remembered until this very day.